Hey everyone, the Craven the Miner here, and uh, today we are playing a very new game. Well, a new, new to me game called Prison Architect. Uh, now this game is an alpha uh, in its development, and full full disclosure, there is an introduction to this game that plays. Uh, it's about a half hour long. It's really kind of cool, but it, it got kind of graphic. Uh, I do enough Team Raven after hours, 18 plus stuff. I don't want this to be that. I want this to be inclusive. Everybody can watch this. If I showed that intro, I would have had to do an age advisement and I would have wanted to kind of restrict it a little bit. Not what I want to do here. So I will not be showing the intro. If you want to see the intro, I highly advise you check out this game and buy it yourself. Um, but it was, it was very basic uh, tutorial. Trust me, I'll show you what you need to know. All right. So this game is called Prison Architect. Uh, pretty much, we build a prison, uh, manage our inmates, manage our finances, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I know so far. I don't know very much. I haven't watched any videos on it or anything like that, so I'm kind of going in this a little blind. Besides that, uh, very basic tutorial. Uh, now I will. Okay, looks. Check it out. They're like unloading the trucks for me. Sweet. Got another one. More supplies. Very cool. Um. This was actually suggested to me by a guy named uh, Jack Sparrow, with a Z, uh, a very loyal subscriber of mine. He mentioned this in one of my Towns videos. Uh, kind of ironic, because the whole reason I'm doing this now is because I'm not doing Towns right now. Towns had updated, and the new update, awesome. They addressed some uh, serious bugs, updated some stuff, but uh, it broke my save game. So I need to start a new map there. I'm going to give it a little while, see if any more updates come out. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, now let's see. So I figured I'd check this out. It looks really cool. Just from the website and everything like that. Figured I'd buy it. Show you guys what's up. Uh, we'll see together. If it's a game worth uh, continuing to play or not. So. Let's see here. Now. I'm gonna be honest. That was a very, very basic tutorial. So I need to figure out what's going on now. Alright, we got Buildings. Uh, rooms. Okay. What kind of rooms do we have? Cell. We're going to need those. Oh. Read the CEO's letter. We should probably start there. Dear Sir Madam, congratulations on completing your basic in induction. You are now a fully qualified prison architect. Soon you'll be designing, building, and running your own prisons, starting from nothing but an empty plot of land and a few stacks of bricks. Before you get started, I thought I might share some important lessons with you. One, every prison needs a warden. He should be one of your first hires. I mean, that makes sense to me. Build him a nice office and he'll open a whole range of advanced facilities via the bureaucracy system. Okay, that sounds cool. Individual jail cells are expensive, especially early on when funds are very tight. Save money by starting with a single large holding cell, which can be shared between many prisoners at once. Well, that sounds dangerous. Get your tit your kitchen and canteen up and running before the first prisoner show up, and be sure to hire some cooks. Nothing irritates a prisoner more than an empty stomach. Now what? Did he like become part pirate right there? I'm sorry about that. Many items require a water connection. Water is provided by a water pump station, and pipes are built in the utilities view. Use small pipes to connect individual items together, then use large pipes to connect back to the station. Small pipes can only carry water so far before they lose pressure. That's about everything. Good luck. The CEO, Prison Architects Corp. P.S. Share tips with fellow architects at www.prison-architect.com. Alright, freak. I read it. I read it. Do I have to delete it? Yes, okay. Prisoner intake. Eight prisoners arriving at 8 a.m. We have... 21, uh, well, I guess it's like really 21 real-time minutes, it looks like. Deliveries and gar garbage. All right, let's see. A holding cell. They're saying that's how we should really start. Minimum size, 5x5. Five five. Um, let's do like a 7x7, seven seven, or let's do an 8x8. Eight eight. I think the doors are even numbers. We'll do like an 8x8 eight eight holding cell, All right? Yeah, I guess we'll do it like right over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, five. Well, I guess we just 8. Oh, it says on the sides. Oh. Bing! Expensive, okay. 
My dogs are not very happy right now. Uh, let's see. Well, let's put a wall around this, right? Or no, that just builds on its own. These guys are uh, pretty hard workers. I like them. They're, they're quite nice. Uh, wow, we don't have very much here. I don't know how like resource management works and stuff like that. I, I really don't know. Be interesting to see. Okay. Oh, requires an entrance. That, that makes sense. Let's do objects. Large jail door. Alright, that makes sense. We can rotate it with R. Let's place it right there. Okay. Now if we go rooms, holding cell. Minimum size 5x5, five five, required indoors, required toilet, required bench. Cool. We should be able to take this. Do we can't do that yet? I guess they have more work to do. Come on, what else you got? What else you gotta do? Put a door on it. I know I rotated that. I know I did. There we go. Sweet. Now we have a room. Now let's make that a holding cell. Just like this. Room requirements. Toilet and bench. All right, so if we go to objects here. We should be able to go to toilet. Let's uh, let's put it on this wall. I want to be able to see the toilet from the door. See if anybody's trying to hide anything in there. Make wine or brew something. Uh, what else do we need? A bench, right? Bench, 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 bench. I guess I want to see that too, kind of. Right there. Sure, why not? Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, that's right. Sabres Bruins game tonight. Thank you, telephone. Moving on. Okay, now it needs power. In order to do power, let's start with utilities. Power station. Everything kind of branches off from the one power station. Um, so I guess I kind of want to keep this towards the middle, I suppose. Um... Maybe like over here? Right? Why not? Um, and then from there, I know we're going to need capacitors. Whoa, we don't have much money. I will right, we'll do one capacitor. And then electric cable. That's what we're going to try to do. Right there. Read it and wait. Now that power station costs five thousand dollars. Do I have enough? When when is it going to charge me that? Right, well, let's get out of. Oh, I guess if it has that one underneath it, I should probably put the water pump down too, huh? Like right here. I guess that one underneath it meant we have one, like in our inventory type deal. I'm picking it up as I go. Um, oh, yeah, hey, that toilet needs water. Gotta plumb that. So our workmen operate, you know, on their own. We pretty much install stuff. You know, we tell it where to go, and they go do it. Which is pretty neat. Um, hey oh, We got power. Now, I will need to do some water tubing and stuff here, and then we're going to need to do a warden office afterwards. So let's see, let's uh, go back to our utilities view. Once you put that down, we're going to need a large pipe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I honestly have no idea how to hook this up. So we're going to run it kind of this way, and then maybe do a small pipe. Ooh, that sucker just froze on me. Okay, there we go. Right here. Right here. 
here. Can you, can you connect there? I feel like you should be able to connect there. And we'll see. We'll let them put it in place. We'll see maybe if it automatically connects or anything like that. We will see. Um, now, electric cable, though. That might be a different story. Oh, yeah, cool. It is automatically connecting right there. Okay, so we don't need all of it to connect, though. So we don't need that. Well, we'll, we'll let it go. We'll see what happens. Now, uh, let's see here. I guess you're not fully connected. Maybe put one there. And let's put electrical cable. Can we dismantle like that and this? Yes, and then the electrical cable directly from here. In the room, I guess? We'll try that. How does that still not have power? Or, I'm sorry, water. That's what I mean. Oh, that's 911. Don't hit that. I did not mean to hit that. Oh, fire engine. That's what you call a fire engine. Hey, that's good to know. Um. Why do you not have water? What do we need here? Oh! <laughs> hey, guess what? Pump station needs power. How about that? How about that? You... Okay, why did you put that there? I don't know. Let's connect those suckers. What you think? Um, is that on? Is this thing on? I think these are all on. Yeah. Oh, if hit escape, that's what I was trying to do. Just hit escape and uh, get out of the my current screen. That didn't work quite like I wanted it to. Oh, hey, toilet works. Not sure how close I actually needed to get that uh, small pipe. Then we'll have to, uh, I guess, kind of mess around with that next build we do. Cool. So that's not bad. We still have plenty of money, right? Where are you going with that? Oh, you're installing that there? Okay. Interesting. Okay, you have power. You have power. You have water. And you have power. Now, we put this, uh, the main electrical cable right here. As long as it gets close enough, it'll automatically connect with these small wires to the actual lights and facilities in the room. Kind of cool. Means we have to do a lot less. Uh, we don't have to like individually wire up each light. Kind of neat. I like it. Now, um, <laughs> that's our holding cell. What else do we need? Oh well, we needed what we want. The warden's office, right? So let's see. Um, cell, solitary, holding cell, canteen, office. Hey, -o. that's probably what we need right there. All right, let's set up a little office here. Um, workshop. I wonder what that's for. I don't know. Storage. We also need storage. That's probably a good idea. So we got deliveries and stuff. All right, let's start with the office. We'll do foundation. How do we want this to sit here? I'll do here. Do a seven by seven. We'll let them build that now for. An entrance. What kind of doors do I have available to me? Large gel door. Door. That's right. Regular door. That makes sense. What else do I have? Ooh, look at all this stuff. Hmm. Now, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to spoil my warden. Like, I want him to be pretty well off here. 
So. Let's, uh... Let's put a door on this place. Right there. That works for me. Um... What else? What else? What else? He's definitely going to need an office desk. And we'll probably do some windows as well. What kind of windows do I have available? Besides these like barred windows. I guess that's probably it. Hmm. So let's do one. I'll do one up front here. Like there. Hey, -o. very cool. So that's done being built. Let's designate this as an office. Bing. And all right, I want to change up the floor in here. I wanted to have a nice wooden floor. Check this out. Bing. And I guess uh, right there as well. Cool. To bring all the supplies. We're cruising now. See, I know what I'm doing here. This needs power. So let's go to utilities. Let's, uh. Branch this over. That should be good, I think. Let's get out of utilities here. Oh, nice wooden floor. Look at that. Alright, they're hooking up the power cables. Um, objects. Alright. Office desk. This would be nice, huh? This way. How do I want this? Probably this way. We'll do it right there. And of course we'll put a chair behind it. Sure. And let's see. So he's got the window off to the side. That's pretty nice for him. What else do we need? We got TVs and stuff. Not a bad idea. Definitely gonna need a filing cabinet and a bookshelf. We're gonna put these over here. Maybe put the filing cabinet in. Uh, we'll put a filing cabinet over here. That seems like a good place for that. <laughs> I am just recklessly spending money right now. Oh, nice. Okay. What else? He needs a TV. We won't give him the pool table, right? We're being frugal here. But of course he needs a large TV. Right? Uh, okay, we'll give him a small TV. Right there. Whew. This guy is hooked up. Oh, I guess some of these were actually room requirements. <laughs> Did not know that. Yeah, it said room requirements filing cabinet. Did you see it there for a second? Did not know that. All right. What else? I feel like that should be it. Uh, actually, it'll tell us if we hover over it over here, so let's see. Office. Office desk, chair, filing cabinet. I just added the rest of the stuff. Uh, how about a pathway? How about, let's see, paving stone, works for me, road, we'll do paving stone, and let's see, I don't know where exactly I want it to come from, auto saving, okay, that, it wasn't lagging before, it was auto saving, we're going to do, let's see, concrete floor, 
or no, I'm sorry, paving stone. I'm just gonna bring it right down there. So we can walk back and forth between them. Looks like our power situation has been handled. You can see that. Very cool. Everything looks alright. Now. Warden. What if I click on him? Alright, before I do that, I want to look at something here. Costs $800 out of $1,500 per day. Now, I think this is how I interpret this um, without knowing anything. I think $800 is our daily overhead, where $1,500 is our daily income. Let's see. If I hire this guy, $200 per day. Cost $1,000. Income still $1,500. So we're still making $500 per day. And we probably need a guard. Right? I mean, I'm sure we need just one, though. Let's see. Bureaucracy. My lord. Okay. So we have the warden. He unlocks all of this stuff. Now, I guess we gotta, like, research it type deal. I'm not entirely sure. Finance. Unlocks the accountant, which gives access to government grant programs, which can provide extra funding. Also allows you to spend more each day than your income would normally allow, assuming you have the funds in reserve. Alright, that sounds dangerous. Security. Unlocks the chief of security. Hire him from the staff's toolbar. Unlocks the doctor. Currently serves no purpose. All right, well, not getting that then. Mental health. Yeah, maybe that's necessity. Providing you with a valuable insight in your prisoner's internal psychological state at all times. Maintenance. Unlocks the foreman. Hire him to staff to work. Okay. No, oh, riot guards. Groundskeeping. Cleaning. I need all of this. sweetness now I think I'm going to call it an episode here um, is there anything else I want to get done before that you know I really don't like the looks of this pathway is it this way? so I think I might do that as well maybe thicken it up a little bit we got a nice office for a warden we have a holding cell for our inmates uh, I guess that's the start. Uh, next episode, we should definitely see some prisoners. That'll be interesting. Um, I am going to hire a guard, just right now. Guard, I need you. Guard this place. Alright. And I suppose... It's probably not a bad idea if we have some sort of like lighting outside. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Nope. Whoa, definitely not there. Uh, objects. Light. I'm pretty sure I can do outdoor lights. So, on the corner, here, and there. Like that way we have some outside light. We're not going to have anybody sneak up at night and bust everyone out. So, yeah, I think that's it. Eat. What does this say? Eat, eat. I don't have, I don't have food. Do we have food? That's an issue. All right, guys. I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. Tune in next time where we make food to eat. Probably a good idea. Um, and like I said, hopefully we see some inmates next time. Uh, also, let me know what you think. I mean, most importantly, let me know if you like the series. Uh, if you like where this could possibly potentially go. And uh, I'm sorry for not recording any towns right now. I just think it's best if I wait. Um, make sure a couple of updates come out. That save games aren't going to get jacked up again. And uh, then I'll pick up with uh, some new knowledge and a new map. So RIP towns. Uh, we're going to pick it up with Prison Architect. And until next time, this is McRaven the Miner signing out.